Hi, and welcome to another session with Writing with Design. I'm Amber Parks. In this session, we're going to be looking at catching strong closings, which is a skill focus activity that we love to do with students to help them learn how to write great closings to their writing. So I'm going to jump right in here. So when we think about a, a closing sentence for informational writing, we want it to feel like it's a bucket, right? That it catches all of the sentences of the writing. So it needs to wrap it up. It needs to tell why the writing is important. It's not just another detail sentence and it does not tell any new information. So these four characteristics are really important for all of us to remember when we're writing our closing sentence or even growing that into a closing paragraph. So let's take a look at some short pieces, and then I'm going to pop up three different choices for us to consider for our closing sentence. So snow white, snow owl. Snowy owls are mostly white, so they blend in with the snow. They have excellent eyesight and even better hearing. Their favorite meal is a lemming. Now, what kind of sentence would close this writing? We've got overall, I love owls. Truly, snowy owls are fascinating. Or the end? Well, uh, the first one overall, I love owls, is great to know, but that would be an opinion sentence, right? And then the last one, the end, that's one of our off limits closings. So that's definitely not going to be it. And as we consider the middle one, truly, snowy owls are fascinating. That really is an, an essence sentence. It's a wrap up sentence that kind of shares, yeah, there was a lot of really neat information that was shared about snowy owls in the piece. So that's a wonderful closing sentence for us to consider for this piece. Let's try another one here. One long nose. Did you know an elephant's trunk is nearly seven feet long? That's taller than most people. An elephant's trunk is their nose. An elephant smells with its trunk and it can also touch and grab with it. What might work for our closing? Above all, I want a pet elephant. Elephants are huge animals. Clearly, an elephant's trunk is one amazing nose. Well, Considering the first one is about being a pet, was our writing about being a pet or having an elephant as a pet? No. Elephants are huge animals. Well, that is true. And we do talk about that their trunk is nearly seven feet long. So we can certainly infer that they're really big animals. But is the piece about them being huge? Do we know their weight? Do we know their height, right? Or any kind of comparison to other animal sizes? No, we really don't. So that one's on kind of on topic about being about an elephant, but not on topic in terms of being about the trunk. So lastly, clearly an elephant's trunk is one amazing nose. That really wraps up kind of what's our takeaway this, that they do amazing things with their trunk, right? Who knew that it was, um, that it was such uh, a fascinating nose? I mean, can you imagine being able to touch and grab things with your nose? <laughs> That's really remarkable. So let's circle that one. I think, there we go. All right, let's try one more here. Traveling choices. Airplanes fly people in the sky. Cars and buses drive them on the road. Boats and ships sail passengers on water. So what's our wrap up? What's our takeaway? What's the bucket for this? Indeed, there are many ways to travel. Do you like cars? The end, well, we already know the end is not going to be it, right? Because that's one of our off limits closings. So going backwards, do you like cars? That's a yes or no question. And we don't want to do those as our closings. We want to have our readers have more of a, a sense of closure to it. So that leaves, indeed, there are many ways to travel, which, yeah, that one really wraps it up, doesn't it? It's all about airplanes, cars and buses, boats and ships. So lots of different ways for people to travel. So. I'm going to give you a chance now to do this one on your own. I'll read it out loud and then I'll give you a chance to choose your closing and have a discussion with your family or classmates that are with you. The wonderful watermelons. Watermelons are an interesting fruit. They are green on the outside and usually pinkish red on the inside. They taste juicy and sweet like candy, but they are much more nutritious. They are related to pumpkins. So here are your closing sentence options. Unquestionably, watermelons are amazing. Their black seeds are crunchy, or I like watermelon better than pumpkin. So take just a moment here, look at these three choices and think about which one is the strongest 
and also why the other two are not good, are not the strongest ones. Okay, if you need more time, you are welcome to pause, but I'm gonna move on to the next one. All right, fabulous fur. Dog fur has many different qualities. Dog fur can vary by length. Some dogs have short hair, such as a Dalmatian or Dachshund. Others have long fluffy coats that make them look part lion. The coloring of dog fur spans the rainbow. Well, almost. Dogs can be solid black, brown, gray, or white. A dog's coat is called brindle when it has stripes of many colors. So here are your closing sentence options. I'll give you a, a minute here to see which one you want. And remember, you can pause the video to have more time for discussion. All right, let's move on to just wrapping up our discussion here about it. So the big takeaway from all of this is the closing sentence needs to be that main idea, that wrap up, that sense of, of closure for our readers. So make sure you're thinking of what are all the key points I made? How can I sum that up into one sentence and really leave my readers with one sentence that will help them remember everything that I shared with them about the topic. All right, happy writing. <laughs>